Console is the key to accessing all of the Apollo features you need. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the console sections so you can get going right away. Console has analog, digital, and virtual inputs. The controls available on each strip depend on the type of input. Apollo and Apollo Twin have a combination of built-in mic line preamps, line inputs, ADAT, SpeedIF, and virtual inputs. Apollo 16 has line inputs, AES, and virtual inputs. Each input appears on an individual channel strip in console. Apollo and Apollo Twin's mic preamps can be switched to line and use the quarter-inch balance jacks in the combo inputs. For more sonic options, you can load a unison mic preamp emulation in the special unison insert. This will give you the sound of Neve, API, or UA tube mic preamps right inside your Apollo. Apollo and Apollo Twin also have auto-sensing Hi-Z inputs and switch automatically when you plug in a quarter-inch mono cable. The Hi-Z inputs support unison-enabled stomp boxes, giving you dead-on tone and interaction with your guitar's pickups. The input section also has the expected controls for phantom power, pad, polarity, high-pass filter, and reference level. Real-time UAD processing is the heart of the Apollo system, so directly below the inputs are four UAD plug-in insert slots. Plugins here run on Apollo's built-in DSP to deliver unparalleled sound quality with the lowest possible latency. You can load individual plugins from the categorized lists or use channel presets to load your favorite signal chains in one click. Once loaded, you can view and edit UAD plugins in separate floating windows or access the entire chain as a channel preset. Once you're happy with a channel preset, you can save it for instant recall in the future. To audition plugin presets, open the plugin window, click the presets button, and use the up down arrows to select presets. This is great for when audio is playing and you want to compare settings. You may want to record some tracks with UAD plugin processing and record other tracks dry while still hearing the effects. Just click the mode you want each channel to be in, or use the global insert effects buttons to change all channels at once. All Apollos have two aux sends for time-based effects such as reverb and delay, and Apollo rack mount systems let you create up to four Q buses for headphones or additional external mixes. For easier control, you can use the large send faders. Just click sends in the view column and choose which send you want. You can even hide the main monitor mix and use the entire screen for finer resolution or use with touchscreens. You can access all sends on a channel in the sends window, and holding the option key lets you adjust a send across all channels at once, complete with relative offsets, which is great for quickly building mixes or adjusting overall level. Aux sends default to post fader, but they can be changed globally to pre fader via the aux returns. Q sends are always post insert, pre fader, and mute. If you need more than two headphone mixes or need additional external mixes, you can set the Q bus count in the hardware settings panel. Qs are sourced and can be routed to available outputs on Apollo in the Q outputs window. The bottom section contains the level faders, pan, mute, and solo buttons for the monitor mix, and just above it, the flex routing drop down menu. You use the faders to make your monitor mix, and flex routing lets you assign an input to a direct output on your Apollo or Apollo 16. The signal sent to your DAW for recording is post unison, pre fader, and mute, so the mix you make with the console faders does not affect the signal that's sent to your DAW. To adjust the levels that are sent to the DAW, you can either adjust the gain of the Apollo preamp, the unison preamp, or use a plugin with the channel set to UAD record. All console channels are routed to the main monitor outputs by default. You can route individual channels directly to outputs on the same Apollo using the Flex Routing drop-down menu. Flex Routing lets you send a channel to one of eight mono or four stereo outputs, plus a mirrored monitor. Note that if you're using alt speakers or Q output routing, those outputs will not be available for Flex Routing. You always have easy access to control room level, mute, and mono via the monitor section. The monitor knob controls the main output level, and the monitor meters display Apollo's pre-fader mix bus level, which is also shown on the front panel meters. 
the control room button gives you access to the additional controls for alt speakers, dim, and source. Watch the next video to learn more about expanded Apollo systems.